Ben Almadena's City Council continues to search for new formulas to meet the needs of citizens while fighting the effects and consequences of the health crisis caused by the coronavirus. Since Monday, three telephone hotlines have been set up, which will operate from Monday to Friday from 9 up until 2 p.m. to answer any questions related to local administration. Ben Almadena's mayor, Victor Navas, has taken advantage of the announcement to reiterate his gratitude from the professionalism, dedication and vocation of public service that the workers of the city council are showing every day, making possible to maintain an efficient attention to citizens and essential services despite the difficulties derived from the current health crisis. On the other hand, operational services continues with the cleaning and disinfectation work of the common spaces of transit and confluence of people or especially vulnerable areas. To do this, they are using a mixed washdown equipment with disinfectant and sodium hypochlorite, spending an average of 61,000 liters per day in the disinfectation work they carry out throughout the municipality. The work focuses on sidewalks, walls, railings, benches, litter bins or mailboxes. In short, all those elements that people can touch at any given time, as well as the environment of food stores, doctors' offices, health or educational centers and pharmacies, the told the Councillor for Operational Services, Salvador Rodriguez, on a press release where he has once again thanked all the staff of the area for their dedication and professionalism during these complicated days of work. In addition, the Innovance delegate Javier Marín announced that starting last Tuesday, March 31, following the provisions of the new decree of the Junta de Andalucía, the frequency of M103 urban buses will be reduced maintaining service until past 22 o'clock. Users will be able to consult the new frequencies of passage on the website of the Consistorium and Urban Buses of Benalmadena, which is accessed through the website of the City Council, in addition to these modifications appearing in the Avanza Group application. The Benalmadena City Council continues to launch all kinds of shock measures to alleviate the consequences of this crisis, such as changes to the fiscal calendar, the suspension of the Blue Zone or the telework mandate for a large number of officials, among others, and now these are added.